All right, everybody, your island weekend awaits, but bear with us for maybe 30 more minutes because this is the Fiesta Friday edition of KUM News Extra. I'm Jason Salas, and thanks so much for sticking with us tonight because we have a wonderful show and good information to pass along to you. But we are leading off tonight's show with news that our friends at the Guam Young Professionals are celebrating year number four of that very distinguished group. It's the senior year, as it will, and so Melanie Mendiola and Logan Radius are here, and they're members of the organization doing a fantastic job. So half a day to you both, and thanks for coming by. Half a day, Jason. Okay, so for people that may not know, um, how is GYP formed and what purpose does it serve? GYP is a, uh, the Guam Young Professionals was formed four years ago, and it is a subcommittee of the Guam Chamber of Commerce, and pretty much it was formed by a bunch of, by a, a bunch of young young professionals mm. who uh, wanted to get uh, more involved in the chamber's activities and things like that. Sometimes it could be a little in intimidating for a young person to kind of like show up at a chamber meeting, right? And so the Guam Young Professionals formed to, uh, to bring people together to help them network, to help them develop and get involved and make an impact on the island. Now, Logan, as the incoming chairperson of the organization, mm. the word young is kind of like the operative term uh, in the title and everything. So, so how is young defined as far as GYP's membership? That's an interesting question. Um, well, the membership uh, comprised of 21-year-olds to 40-year-olds. Uh, 41 is the retire retiring age. So I guess that's how we define young professional. Very cool. So that, that's a pretty interesting mix because you'll get kids, you know, for lack of a better term, who maybe just coming out of college, right. you know, mm -hmm. getting into Their the workforce. Their first job. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you get maybe people that are like around middle management, you know, some uh, entrepreneurs that are starting their own businesses. Mm -hmm. So you get a pretty good mix. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, what is, what um, type of people constitute your membership? Our membership is made up um, across industries. We have people from banking and finance. We have individuals from, uh, from the government as well. And um, we have uh, small, small business owners. In fact, the Guam Young Professional of the Year, which is one of the awards, that we're, which is the award that we're going to be giving um, at our event on Friday, mm -hmm. um, two of the nominees are small business owners. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And what's, I should also note that um, the membership isn't completely comprised of uh, just uh, chamber affiliate companies. Um, we do have members that are non-affiliated um, and we're the, we're the only subcommittee of the Guam Chamber that, can, that is allowed to do that, where membership can comprise of non-chamber members. So if you're a young person interested in the chamber, but the company that you work for is not a chamber member, but, and, you, and you want the networking opportunities, you want to get involved, and um, of course give back to our island, um, you can join the Guam Young Professionals. Ultimately, that's what it's all about, giving mm -hmm. back and then also getting involved. So. Certainly. Okay, so I understand this year the theme is uh, capitalizing on a rather popular trend right now. Now, I must say, you know, it's, it... it builds off of and you know i'm shuddering to say you know as a direct copy of but you know the game the popularity of game of thrones i have yet to see an episode i haven't read the books at all and everything so you guys have to school me on what it's all about and where the theme comes from do you watch it i do i do i'm a fan um well it, that does not surprise just, me at all just like the just well i don't know if i, I should go into a, a breakdown of what game of thrones is but it basically is a game of thrones you have different people vying for the throne right mm -hmm. so i guess with the theme for this year who will rise was just a play off of that um, without all the cutthroat action mm -hmm. like in the uh, series. So um, yeah, it's just, it's mainly that, like who will rise, who will be the Guam Young Professional of the Year. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what are um, qualifications may, perhaps for uh, nomination? The nominee um, must be a GYP member and the criteria for, for um, I guess, for, for judging are um, you know, how you excel, how, how um, a nominee excels in their workplace, mm -hmm. but in addition to that, how they give back to the community and how they're involved in the Guam, uh, the Guam Young Professionals as well as the Chamber of Commerce, either directly or indirectly through carrying out its mission somehow. Mm -hmm. And the award itself bears a very proud name because you mentioned uh, the late Raina Letty earlier and everything, and, and that is exactly who the award is named for. Yes, the, the award is named after Raina Letty, who was the executive director prior to the current uh, director who passed away. Outstanding, very, very fitting way to uh, remember Raina and her contributions. Okay, um, what else should people know about the, uh, the organization and what you guys do out in the community? Because you talked about giving back and you know, um, corporate involvement. Mm -hmm. Well, from a personal standpoint, my motivation for joining the Guam Young Professionals was because I wanted to be around like-minded individuals that wanted one to give back, but also I wanted to network with those kinds of people. Um, so it, there, there are a bunch of different groups that I could, that could have joined, right? Um, there's a bunch of different organizations, but GYP was unique for me because it provided mentorship from peers, basically. 
peers that were doing, I guess, better, more successful. Um, but you know, it's it's easy it's easier to talk to one of your peers mm -hmm. about your career goals and you know the route you should take. So that was that was the draw for me. As personally. opposed to someone who's 25 years older than you yeah. and maybe stuck well, in you know, their mindset. There's value to that. I have those mentors too, but for GYP, it's like, you know, we're working together, driven in the same direction, and I get this, this mentorship. Okay, so let's uh, close with this because Melanie is the outgoing chairperson and Logan is the incoming. Uh, Melanie, start with you. What do you see as your legacy from your time in uh, spearheading the efforts of the organization? And Logan, what do you hope to bring to the table and, you know, giving some new direction? Right. Um, well, I'm not going to stop being involved with the Guam Young Certainly Professionals. Not. So, um, but uh, I think my legacy, well, I was, I was, I was one of the founding, one of the first members of the organization, one of the charter members, I guess you could say. And so I've seen the organization grow. We're proud to have a membership of over 150 individuals and we continue to grow. And um, in the last year, we've continued the work that we've done as far as uh, in the community with beach cleanups, with um, the juvenile drug court. We've continued to bring young professionals together through our networking events. And we continue to seek new ideas and, and you know, uh, encourage new membership. And I guess, I don't know, I guess that means my legacy is just kind of carrying on the good work of our previous, or the previous chairs, which, was, which were Jay Rojas, um, who currently works in Washington, Washington D.C. for the Office of the Governor, yep. and um, Jen Chrysostomo from Cars Plus. Uh, well done. Oh, Logan, what do you bring to the table? we got about 20 seconds. Sorry. What do I bring to the table? Well, uh, continuing the legacy, and since 2014 is an election year, uh, I plan on focusing a lot on that, you know, voter, voter education mm -hmm. and, of course, expanding to a younger, you know, more 21 and mm -hmm. up, yeah, because they're kind of under, underrepresented in the organization. Fresh faces in the yes, organization. Fresh, fresh faces. Outstanding. We well, well, thank you and congratulations for all that you've done and good luck to you, Logan. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that is going to be the Guam Young Professionals event. That's going to happen on Friday the 17th from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Outrigger Guam Resorts. Fort San Jose Ballroom. Do try and check them out on Facebook. They've also got a website, which is you. Uh, you can find us through the Chamber website. Um, yep. uh, Facebook, we're on GYP Connect. Twitter, GYP Connect. Um, those are the best ways. Yeah, those are the best ways. That's a way, that's a way that everybody in this generation finds Absolutely. anything anyway. So there's 80 million websites out there. It only matters two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, stay tuned. Fiesta Friday continues right after this. You're watching KUAM.